All right, thanks for checking us out. We're gonna be talking about affiliate marketing versus drop shipping. These are two really good business models for beginners. Uh, one's a little better than the other if you're just starting out and I'll explain why. Hi, I'm Court Crossin. This is Crossin Seas. Thank you for watching. We're gonna be talking about affiliate marketing versus drop shipping. Um, it's gonna, I'm just gonna cover a quick, easy lesson on this. If you don't know about them, you're really gonna be able to understand them after this. In the description box below, there's gonna be a link to my number one way to make money online. Click on it, it's free, it's, you're gonna get an ebook, it's free, it's for you. All right, just to give you guys a better understanding, a little snapshot, what a affiliate marketing looks like versus uh, drop shipping, I'm gonna take you to some slides so you can see it right in front of you. All right, so let's start off with affiliate marketing. So. Here's you, this is what you're in charge of, marketing. That's why it's affiliate marketing. You're marketing someone else's stuff. That's all you have to pay attention to. That's all you really have to think about. That's all you have to focus on. And one thing I really appreciate about it is that it'll teach you how to research a niche. If you're gonna be good in marketing, you're gonna have to know how to research your niche. You're gonna have to be able to write good copy. You're going, which is, basically how to sell through the written word. There's two things you need to do. You need to generate traffic, and also you need to vet the offer. You need to make sure the offer is in line with your personal beliefs and you're not ripping people off because it's really hard to be excited about something, really hard to go to work every day and sell people an offer that you believe is trash and you're being dishonest and writing fake things. It's not the right way to do affiliate marketing and you're not going to generate a long-term income. So you are in charge of marketing. You pretty much generate the leads through paid ads or traffic, bring the leads to the offer, and then you get a commission on the sales. So affiliate marketing, all that really is, is you could generate traffic through paid ads, Google, Facebook, YouTube, or just organic traffic through blog or uh, social media, like, and then ranking your blog through SEO. Now drop shipping's more complicated. A lot like affiliate marketing, you're not dealing with your own product. You're dealing dealing with someone else's product. Someone else built the product, someone manufactured it. And just like affiliate marketing, you're pretty hands off on the product. All you really have to do is vet the products, make sure that you're offering quality products that you can be proud of. So you're not lying to your customer, you're not lying to your leads. A major part of drop shipping is the marketing part. Because without traffic to your website, then you won't have customers and you won't have profit. So you're going to have to do paid ads or organic traffic to actually make a profit. So you're gonna be, you're gonna have to be good at marketing regardless. You're like, oh, I don't like affiliate marketing. I don't like to do paid ads or organic. I don't want to blog. I don't want to do social media. Well, to generate traffic, you're gonna have to do something like that, even with drop shipping. But with drop shipping, it, not only are you focused on marketing, you're focused on your website building, you're focused on customer service, and you will have returns. And then also that, you have to deal with suppliers. So suppliers, if you pick the wrong supplier, they could be either very late on their shipping, and in today's age, people want their stuff like same day delivery. So you have no control over the supply, you have no control over the shipping or the quality, and sometimes you get in touch with shady suppliers that lie to you and then they send you a sample that's real good but when they send the customer it's real bad so now with the the thing of um, about drop shipping is you have to deal with the marketing but you also have to deal with customer service and returns and then you're gonna have to deal with suppliers suppliers can be your best friend or your worst enemy because they could lie to you um, the thing about being a drop shipper is that you don't really have a lot of control over the quality and you don't have a lot of control over the shipping time. In fact, sometimes you have exactly zero. Just starting out, I think it would be best if you would focus on just the marketing thing. Because once you get good at marketing, you're going to be able to sell any product that you find worth your time selling and you're going to be able to do research in your niche. You're going to be able to understand your customer avatar and you're going to really be able to build a lot better drop shipping business based off of that. You're going to have a targeted audience. You're going to know what and how to sell things and you're going to know what to sell to who and you're going to know how to vet quality offers. You're going to know how to deal with uh, objections. You're going to have to, you're going to be able to deal with trends. You're going to know how to uh, 
do these little tiny things that make a huge di difference in your business. Uh, because to be honest, the setup of a drop shipping website is not hard. You can go to Shopify and you integrate with Umbrello and then you also then it hooks you up to AliExpress and you can just import, put a description, put it out there, get some pictures and some videos from Placeit or uh, Canva, edit it and put it out there. And your website could look pretty good in just a matter of a day. But the problem is, you, did you have a targeted audience? What, who's your avatar? Who's your uh, ideal customer? Are you gonna be, and how are you gonna get in contact with them? And so if your dropshipping store is not getting customers, then it doesn't matter how good you are at choosing products. It doesn't matter how good you are at building websites. If no one could find that website, if no one's going to that website, you're not gonna make sales, no matter how well you are at writing copy. So marketing is very important. I feel like affiliate marketing will get you very good at it and also earn you a decent income. Uh, my pro tip to you is always build a list. Don't just get the affiliate link and then post it. Don't get that link and then post it on like your blog or something and have them go straight there. You want them to have the opt-in form. You can do it real simply, real easy to do. Um, if you're just tied on cash, you can go to uh, Aweber and set up a free account and they'll collect emails and you can even do your own forms and then you can even build a capture page um, it's simple it's not the best and as you get better and start earning more income you could upgrade to click funnels you can upgrade to different software start up a blog people say that blogging is dead but it's not um, it's a good way to generate income because SEO is not dead Google you still can rank on Google for certain things you just have to know your customer avatar know what they're searching there's certain tools that you use that are a little expensive but if you just put in a lot of sweat equity you'll be able to rank your website you got to learn a lot yeah so if you're just starting off in business if you're trying to figure out which way to go i would suggest to go with affiliate marketing all right thank you for watching remember to like share subscribe also in the comments below i'll have two links one of them is my number one way to make money online and another one is an internet business startup kit click on those links they're free they're a gift from me to you uh, all you do is click on them put in your name and email and I'll be able to send them right to you right to your inbox both of them together are really gonna help you start your business and set you up for success so thank you again again like share subscribe I really like to hear from you guys and thank you for watching